Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to a very long awaited favourite slash life update. I feel like I've been really missing on YouTube recently and I'm really sorry about that. I've just been really busy. I'll go into a little bit about what I've been up to and what we're going through in regards to a life update soon. Um, but today is more just to sit down, say hi, have a bit of a catch up and show you guys what I've been loving now. Owing to the fact that I extended my business this year, which you guys know, with my recipe clubs. If you haven't joined my recipe clubs, honestly, they are going so, so well. We are five star rated. If you want to know more about it, I'll pop the little ad for it on the screen. So you can go and check that out perhaps later. But if you want five recipes from me every single week, beautifully illustrated recipe cards along with motivation sheets and meal idea sheets that include snacks and breakfast ideas, then please go and check it out. And um, I also launched a food blog, which is completely free to join. It's called Fantastic Days of Food, which was affectionately named for my what I eat in days. And I've just been loving spending time on that. I've been loving writing. I've been loving sharing recipes. So if you're not quite ready to commit financially, but you do want to see my recipes and read what I have to say when it comes to food and that kind of thing make sure that you go and check out my blog and um, I'll link it down below and also I've joined Pinterest so please go and check that out if you want easy access to my recipes you can click on the picture and it'll take you straight to the blog so that might be an easier way and um, but anyway I have lots here now predominantly this is homewares and fashion because that is what I'm interested in at the moment but I do have a cookbook a few homey bits and a couple of beauty picks to share so I'll start with the beauty picks how can I not include this I've literally been slathering myself in it ever since the weather got a little bit warmer I want to make sure my skin's a bit more hydrated because I'm getting the legs out that little bit more and it's the happy Buddha I know I've mentioned this loads but there's just something about this that just makes me happy it's kind of like my signature scent and it's so whippy and creamy and easy to blend that I just there's just something about it that I really really like um not just the scent of course but the texture the way it dries the way it makes my skin feel I just really like it so I had to give that a mention speaking of orange this is something that I've been asked about a lot in my videos because I've been wearing it a lot and it's um, this beautiful nail polish now I do have this on my toes which isn't that I can't really show you because I have to lift my legs up when I'm wearing a dress but um, it's this beautiful tangerine shade which honestly is beautiful um, it's by Nails Inc and it's vegan as well it's in the shade Womanga and I really like it everything that I talk about I'll try and link it in the description the next thing I've been doing is, because the weather is getting that little bit warmer, I'm at home all the time, I don't really feel the need a lot of the time to put a foundation on. So I've been wearing this and it's the um, Airbrush Finish by, or Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. Now I have been using this on and off for years, I really really like it, but what I find is it's just like a wash of something, it just buffs away any slight imperfections, like it's not going to give you the coverage of a foundation but it's fantastic to wipe on before the school run, it's fantastic just to have on home days we just want a wash of something, like an ethereal glow but not a foundation or concealer, this is really fantastic, I have it in the shade medium 2 and it suits me, although I have to say I do need the darker one for the warmer days because I do self tan as you guys can see, so the next thing I have is an oldie but goodie, actually it's not that, it's not that old um, but I've just been wearing it so much frequently and it's the NARS liquid blush in orgasm I mean I've been wearing orgasm honestly I, I've got to say for the last 11 years I love it so much it's like perfect just been for a run um kind of peachy pink and this is it in liquid form but what I love about this is not only the texture is beautiful but it's really easy to wear on the cheeks, the lips, the eyes, you can really put it anywhere. I really like it and I love the packaging on that as well. And then the final beauty product is an oldie but goodie. And I bought this about a year ago and I liked it but I didn't really pay too much attention to it. And it's the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. Now the only reason I bought this is because I bought a foundation from Wet n Wild and what I found was it was just too light for me and I didn't want to waste it. So I thought mixing it with a cream bronzer like this would be a really good idea and it's so lovely I love mixing this with my foundations sadly I've literally just finished it so I'm gonna purchase a new one but the texture of this is just so creamy and light really really like it so that is all my beauty I'm gonna move on to home and we'll end with fashion so this book guys I mean I'm very visually stimulated so I would definitely buy a cookbook based on the cover alone if it intrigues me because obviously it's a beautiful coffee table book but this book is not only stunning to look at I mean look at that cover it's just 
magic but also I love this because it's it's kind of, it, it's a nod to a, a, a culture that's similar to mine, I guess. This is an Afghanistan um, themed cookbook, like an Afghan kitchen. And honestly, the stories in here and where the inspiration for the meals come from and the pictures are just, they're absolutely beautiful. And again, I can relate to a lot of the recipes in here because we have similar versions in the Middle East or our take on similar version recipes. And I just, love it there is so much in here that i cannot wait to try and it's amazing to try cuisine from different cultures i know that's what a lot of you have been joining in the recipe clubs me digging out you know family heirloom recipes that are just going down so so well so i'll link this down below i got it from amazon it was about 20 quid and it's beautiful the next thing i have to show you is a apron honestly guys i mean i have another apron from anthropology and i love it i was shopping and i saw this one and i had to pick it up because just look at it look how gorgeous this is not only does this look beautiful when you wear it in the kitchen like a 1960s housewife but also it has pockets the apron has pockets guys i mean what more do you want it's this beautiful soft rose pink tie it's just gorgeous, I love it. I mean, it's quite pricey, but to be honest with you, I you guys know how much I cook and I bake, so for me, I'm in this all the time, so I don't feel like it is that pricey really, cost per wear, but I love it, it's beautiful. Um, the next thing I have is all from, also from Anthropology. In fact, a few of my favorite style this month because I've just been going crazy and getting pieces for the blog and getting pieces for my recipe club. Um, and I got these dishcloths. Now, I mainly use these for aesthetics for my photos backdrops and things like that and it was the color of these that shone out to me they are just heavenly and i have the blue set as well and it's just these gorgeous kind of pink dishcloths that you can use in the kitchen but again i've been using them more as aesthetics and props and things like that but i'm sure at some point i will use them for their purpose but right now i'm trying to keep them all lovely for photographs then the next thing I have are, actually I'll stick with anthropology for now, I have these three bowls. Now I honestly, I love these bowls so much, they're all textured. You may have seen it on my recent vlog that I got quite a few different pieces of homeware recently. And this is one of them, or three of them rather, and it's these bowls. And this is the Havana bowl, I think this one is actually my favourite. Then I have like the same but in the periwinkle and then I have the same again in the off-white cream and they're just perfect for me, they're perfect for yoghurt, they're perfect for cereal, breakfasts, like nuts and granola, that kind of thing and I just, I love them so so much. So that is those. Speaking of breakfast, my new breakfast mugs, I got these from Le Creuset and I love them. You guys know that I got a new cast iron recently. That is a favourite, of course, but I, I couldn't carry it up with everything, but I got a pink cast iron, it's beautiful. But I also got this spring Easter collection of cups, I got one of every single colour, um, and these two are my favourite, which is the pink and the um, orange, and they're just beautiful, they're a perfect mug size for me as well. And then I have these, again these were bought with my photographs in mind and it is these beautiful bunny tails in this gorgeous amber rust colour. These are real, they're absolutely stunning. So I have got a vase coming from Rose and Grey, a white vase that these are going to sit in, I cannot wait. Um, but for now I'm using them as flat lays but I just love them. If you're looking for dried flowers, pampas grass, that kind of thing, Rose and Grey are a really fantastic place to go to. So I have those. And then the final homey piece is this candle from Yankee. I always like to switch up my candles when the spring hits. I kind of put away all my autumn winter candles and then the lighter scents, the floral scents, the lemony, zesty, awakening scents come out. And this one is beautiful and it's a sun-drenched apricot rose by Yankee. I mean, it's just, it's floral, but not in a sick, not in like a granny way, in more of a, a rosy cardamom kind of way it's bewitching it has that scent of apricot in there so nice and light and fruity and just really uplifting and i love the color of that as well it just makes me happy whenever it's lit it, it just looks gorgeous i believe now we're on to fashion and then i'll do a quick life update at the end and give you guys a few um updates as to what's been going on with me so first my new mini uggs you saw i got these in the last vlog i've wore them every single day since although right now it is a little bit summery for them or not summery but warm and um, but these are gorgeous i find that they hit as such a flattering length on the leg and they're comfortable they're cushy and yeah really like them 
Next is this that I've been living in recently and it's quite new this but I think I've wore it about five times and it's from Oliver Bonus. It's a stripy top but you have this beautiful embroidery here which says Optimist. I'm not a huge optimist but I wear it for irony <laughs> um, and I, I wear it because I love the colour, I love the fit, I love how soft it is, I love the colour of the embroidery and I'm trying to be more of an optimist, like I'm trying to look on the bright side and think of the positives all the time. The next thing is a bit of a treasure to be honest, now I started getting a few pieces from Misguided, but number one because they get to me really quickly and they're quite affordable as well and I got these jeans and I have to say I was not prepared by how much I would actually wear these and it's these balloon jeans um, and they kind of come with this cuff on the bottom. I have these in blue and black and honestly I am I wear them to death, I've been in them so much and they're comfortable, they're structured, they fit nicely, they're true to size, I get them in the size 8, there's a little bit of room but I'm between a 6 to 8 and they are so good for the quality, they're really inexpensive and I really like them. The next fashion piece is this knit that I wore in the last vlog, I got a lot of questions about this, I actually saw this on Philippa and Sarah's blog, We Are Twin Set and I had to have it and it is stunning, it has not disappointed. I love the shirt underneath it but that's actually mango but this, I mean for the price as well, it's so gorgeous um, and I know a lot of you like that in the vlog. And then finally, something I don't think I've shown yet, um, I got this as a treat to myself at Christmas time, it's the Free People Doberman jacket, now this is quite a splurge, it's quite pricey, I'll link it down below but I got it in the sage green and honestly I really like it, it's just really cool, I mean I love Free People as a brand anyway, that really bohemian, effortless chic. So yeah, that is all the stuff that I've been loving, I'm sorry it's been a while since my last favourites, I am going to try and make sure that I do them much more regularly than obviously this one, I, I appreciate that it's been a long while since I sat down and did a favourites, but there's been lots going on, as I mentioned my recipe clubs has launched, my blog has launched, my website has launched and also we are in the process of moving house which is very exciting but also you know it's a lot, it's stressful, it's a lot going on behind the scenes but I'm hoping that by the autumn winter things will have completely settled down on the business side and the house side and Harrison's school transition to high school you know all of that has been going on in the background and it's just been really challenging but I hope you guys are doing well comment I will be replying to comments I know I've not been that great with that recently but I've just had so much to do I'll hope you'll bear with me because you guys know I'm normally really good at replying to comments but I've just been absolutely snowed under so I hope you'll bear with while things start to settle and calm but thank you so much for watching and hanging out today I really miss just sitting down and chatting with you guys let me know how you are say hey Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!